So for this video we're going to be having a look at the last two sections of the nephron. We've got number four, the distal convoluted tubule, which is this section here after the loop of Henle. And we've got number five, the collecting duct, which is this section here, which comes after the distal convoluted tubule. So I've drawn the two in a more zoomed in version here. So obviously this wiggly bit is number four, the distal convoluted tubule. And this part is then the collecting duct number five. So previously we had the video about the loop of Henle, so that was section three. So coming into our distal convoluted tubule here, we've got our filtrate. And following from the loop of Henle, more specifically, our filtrate is hypotonic. So this means that in terms of the solute concentration, in a hypotonic filtrate, that is a lower solute concentration than the surrounding fluid. So this filtrate here has not got very many solutes in it compared to the surrounding tissue fluid here. By the end, so we've gone through the distal convoluted tubule and we go through the, then the collecting duct. Down here, we have the final filtrate which is produced. And this is going to the renal pelvis in the kidney. That then will take it to the ureter, then to the bladder, and then out through your body through the urethra. So the main thing here with the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct is having a look at the blood solute concentration. And these two sections will then help to basically troubleshoot this blood solute concentration. So is it too high? Is it too low? What can these two sections do to help with that? So we're going to have a look at two different scenarios. So the first one is if the blood solute concentration is too high, sorry, too low. These two areas will become more permeable to water and the water will be reabsorbed into the nephron. So this is because the solute concentration in your surrounding tissues or in your blood is too low. So it's got too much water in it, therefore the water is reabsorbed back into these areas here. That then means that your final filtrate will decrease in concentration, so it becomes more dilute. The opposite, if your blood solute concentration is too high, so it doesn't have enough water in it, water is then absorbed into your blood. And this actually is controlled by a hormone secreted by your pituitary gland called antidiuretic hormone, which will also be seen as ADH. You can use both of these when you're talking about this hormone. So ADH makes the walls of the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct more permeable. So this means that water is able to move out and it can go into your blood to decrease the solute concentration of your blood, thereby increasing the concentration of the final filtrate. So you have a more concentrated urine that is produced in the end.